So one of the things that we hear all the time from conservative commentators is that they are the people who believe in free speech. That is a defining feature of their politics, is that people should be allowed to say whatever they want, um, you know, as long as they're not doing direct threats of violence. They can say what they want, they can be edgy, they can, uh, you know, even be politically incorrect, even be, you know, offensive. That's all fine because free speech is the most important value. Um, that's something that, you know, modern Western civilization was built on. We hear this all the time from, uh, you know, a variety of different kinds of right-wing commentators and politicians. From your Stephen Crowders to your Ben Shapiro's to your Alex Jones to your Gavin McGinnis, right? So, um, the other day, Hassan Piker was uh, doing what we did here on this show, which is follow the Kanye West interviews and react to the Kanye West interviews. Of course, Kanye went on Lex Friedman's show. We covered that. Um, Kanye went on Alex Jones' show. We covered that. Kanye went on Gavin McGinnis' show. We covered that, right? Hassan Piker, same thing. And he also uh, streams for roughly... 412 hours per day, so he's going to get to, like, everything, every story, right? Well, he covers that, and, um, he gets, he gets banned. He gets banned from Twitch because he covered that Kanye West interview with Gavin McGinnis. What happened was he got, um, there was a whole horde of far-right people who, you know, flooded his Twitch, and mass flagged the video. And they claim, like, this is, you know, a copyright thing, you're not allowed to show this. Huh, interesting. So, um, turns out, Gavin McGinnis, the right-wing commentator, you know, got word that Hassan Piker was covering it, and he basically sent this brigade to falsely ban Hassan Piker with a bogus justification. Everybody knows, in, in the commentator world, in the streaming world, there's this unspoken rule, and the rule is, as long as you are, you know, reacting to, adding commentary to somebody else's stuff, then that's fair game. That's fair use. Like, technically, the laws on fair use are not that lenient. I think, I, I don't, from years ago, it was like, you could play like 12 seconds or 30 seconds of a video or something like that, um, and then react to it, but if it's more than that, then they have a right to pull it down. So, that's what the, like, the technical rule is. But the, the common etiquette among commentators and streamers is, no, if, you're, if you are adding commentary, you could play like as much of somebody's content as you want. And in my time doing this, I've been doing this since 2012, I've never once gotten something pulled where somebody's reacting to my stuff, even if they hate me, they despise me, they're shitting on me, they call me dumb, whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't, go ahead, you have a right to do that. It's totally fine, it's totally fair game. I'm not gonna pull your stuff down, I'm not gonna tell my people to go pull your stuff down. But these guys don't do that. These guys don't do that. So here's Gavin McGinnis talking about this, he's talking about this, on Alex Jones' show, listen to what he says. Like, Hassan Piker was showing my Yay interview on Twitch, and we had him taken down. And he goes, but you're a free speech absolutist. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a hypocrite, too. I don't like you. You're, you're banned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are they going to do when we finally take the gloves off? Because they've been using uh, lead pipes and daggers and machine guns on us. We've been fighting them with big old gloves. What are they going to do when we take the gloves off? Like, Hassan Piker was showing my yay interview. Laughing. Laughing about it. <laughs> hypocrites we have no principles we don't actually believe in anything we claim to believe in <laughs> look there are many people over the years who have moved right over this exact issue the issue of free speech where the right talked about it endlessly acted like this is the most important thing and there are people who were on the left and they moved to the right because they go well this is an issue i care about so i guess i'm on the right now that's a real thing that happened but I'm here to tell you, you made a mistake. These guys are not principled, and they're admitting it. They're admitting they're hacks. They're admitting they're hypocrites. They're admitting they don't really believe in it. They're admitting it's just a tactic for their side. So they're tribalist goons. They're thugs. They're partisan hacks. That They're admitting it. They're saying, look, the reason why we harp away on the free speech stuff all the time is because 
we want to be able to get away with saying things that are not only offensive, but oftentimes factually incorrect. And then when somebody on the left comes to correct us and say, hey, here's the ways in which you're wrong, we want to not address the substance, because we are wrong, we want to just say, but it's my free speech to say it. Are you triggered? Are you triggered, you little snowflake? It's the oldest trick in the book. It's the oldest trick in the book. If I do a segment correcting some right-wing misinformation, they can turn around and say, Kyle Kalinske's against free speech. Well, hold on now. I've been consistent from day one. I never call for anybody else to get banned unless it's like a direct threat of violence or something to that effect. Ever. So, no, I'm not saying your, your stuff should get pulled down. I'm saying you are factually wrong, and here's why you're factually wrong. It is just correcting you. It's not canceling you. But they admit it. They just come out and say it. Yeah, I only bring up the free speech issue. For them, ironically, as, you know, Alex Jones is like, they use barbed wire bats and stuff, and we're over here using big fluffy gloves. No, it's the reverse. You guys weaponize an issue you don't even really care about to pretend to be principled just to hook people into your other garbage arguments. Whereas, again, and many people on the left disagree with me over this. Hey, man, that's fine. But you go back and check the record. Time and time again, I've defended people who I despise. I've defended people who I vehemently disagree with. I've had my a majority of my own audience say, Kyle, you're wrong on this one. Because I've gone out there and said, hey, this person shouldn't have been banned, even though I hate them, even though they're shitty, even though whatever, fill in the blank. So who's really principled on this? Who's really principled? Who actually believes in freedom of speech? Certainly not you guys. So anybody who moved right, because you thought, oh, well, the right wingers talk about this issue. I care about this issue. No, you could absolutely be on the left and believe in free speech. And in fact, there, many of us are actually principled on the issue, unlike them. Would I get Gavin McGinnis pan, uh, bold? Bold. I don't know how to speak. Would I get Gavin McGinnis banned or pulled? That's what I was trying to say. Uh, for making fun of me. Would I get Alex Jones banned or pulled for making fun of me? No. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. But they do it to us in a second. They did it to Hassan Piker. So let's see. Who knows? They might try to pull this video down. Because again, I'm playing Alex's shit, and he might try to pull it down. Who knows? But, um, the way to defeat these goons is to show them for what they are. Charlatans. Frauds. Don't even believe in the shit that they pretend like their politics are built around. So why should people believe you on any other issue? If you're willing to throw away your principles just to get Hassan Piker banned... What other principles are you willing to totally toss to the side? It just, it says so much. And this has happened with so many of these right-wingers. Um, so, anyway, there you have it. Um, I like how they're laughing about the fact that they've been dishonest all along. Well, maybe some of your audience are laughing with you, but whichever ones are honest are going to see through you now and uh, probably not listen to you anymore. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.